Strength must build up, not destroy. It should outdo itself, not others who are weaker. Used without responsibility, it causes nothing but harm and death. I can lift the heaviest weights, but I cannot take the responsibility of my shoulders. Because the way we use our strength defines our fate. What traces will I leave on my path into the future? Do we really have to kill in order to live? My true strength lies in not seeing weakness as weakness. My strength needs no victims. My strength is my compassion. Patrick Babumian und der hat jetzt die Weltmeisterschaften vor der Jak silny jest Patrick Babumian? Tak silny. Bez problemu unosi 90 kg, ale dla niego to i tak nic. Aber die Entscheidung Tu es devenu végétalien pour des raisons éthiques? Ethische Entscheidung. Ja, es gab ja quasi zwei. Ça s'est fait en deux temps. Der erste Schritt war auf Fleisch. J'ai d'abord arrêté de manger de la viande. Guten Abend Patrick Babumian. Und Patrick Babumian, er ist der stärkste Mann Deutschlands 2011. Er kommt gerade von der Strongman WM aus China und für so einen starken Mann braucht man einen starken Applaus. Zu welcher Personengruppe zählt Patrick Babumian aus Marburg zu Deutschlands A? Stärksten Männern, B. Klügsten Studenten, C. Schnellsten Läufern, 
oder D. Schönsten Bartträgern. Die Zeit läuft. Mr. Patrick Barbunian proudly holds the title of Germany's strongest man 2011. It's no surprise that he accomplished this feat on a plant-based diet. Das, was ich erzählen möchte, ist, hey Leute, wir müssten eigentlich mit einer anderen Einstellung an, an, an Tiere rangehen. Ich mache das aber ja nicht durch die Vordertür, indem ich genau das sage, sondern ich komme ja durch die Hintertür, weil es erstmal darum geht, wie kann ich eigentlich so stark sein, obwohl ich mich nur pflanzlich ernähre. Ich hatte ja selber die Befürchtung, dass es sehr schwer werden würde, auf meine Kalorien zu kommen und auch sehr schwer werden würde, äh, werden würde auf, auf mein Protein zu kommen. Die Realität war exakt umgekehrt. Also im Endeffekt, ich musste sogar weniger essen, um, weil, weil der Stoffwechsel ähm, effektiver wurde. Also das ist eigentlich so die grundlegendste Sache. Wenn wir kleine Kinder uns angucken, dann sagen die ja nicht, mein Papa ist der schnellste Mann der Welt. Die sagen, mein Papa ist der stärkste Mann der Welt. My name is Patrick Babumian. I'm 36 years old and uh, I'm doing strength sports for like 22 years now. I have been doing bodybuilding uh, competitions, but now I'm uh, a strongman for many years. So bodybuilding is long, long time ago. So I would say I'm a strongman. I weigh 128 kilos um, and uh, I'm a vegan. So it means basically that uh, I get all my nutrients uh, from plants. Um, so I'm not using any dairy products, I'm not eating meat or anything else. Um, and I'm doing this for four years now. Before that I was a uh, vegetarian for several years. And it works perfect for me. Hi, ich bin Patrick Babumian und ich bin hier für Peter. Ich bin im Endeffekt aus rein ethischen Gründen vegan geworden. Das heißt, für mich sind Tiere Freunde und seine Freunde isst man nicht. Und gleichzeitig geht es mir eben auch darum, dass ich nicht will, dass für meinen Konsum Tiere äh, in irgendeiner Art und Weise ausgebeutet werden. Als ich mich entschieden habe, äh, vegan zu werden, war ich bereits stärkster Mann Deutschlands. Das heißt, ich war deutscher Meister im Strongman. Und beim Strongman geht es halt um pure Kraft. Es geht um Kraft in all seinen Facetten. Und da habe ich mir natürlich schon so ein bisschen auch Sorgen gemacht, weil meine Beweggründe waren natürlich ethischer Natur. Was passiert ist, war exakt das Gegenteil. Mein Wohlbefinden wurde besser, ich habe mich schneller von Trainings erholt, ich hatte weniger Gelenkschmerzen, mir ging es gesundheitlich besser. Ich bin seitdem eigentlich kaum noch krank geworden. Und äh, vor allen Dingen die Leistung hat sich gesteigert. Immerhin habe ich meine letzten drei Weltrekorde als Veganer aufgestellt. nicht jeder 127 Kilo wiegen wie ich. Ihr könnt euch dann kleinere Smoothies machen. Ich habe ja, wenn ich das mal so sagen darf, bei ganz vielen Leuten auch gewisse Mauern im Kopf. 
eingerissen, nämlich dass man zum Beispiel nicht trotz veganer Ernährung richtig stark werden kann, sondern gerade wegen veganer Ernährung in meinem Fall richtig stark werden kann und eben international auch Höchstleistungen bringen kann. Und das ist im Endeffekt auch das, was ich jetzt euch so ein bisschen rüberbringen möchte. Free your mind, äh, macht euer Ding, macht eure Erfahrungen und führt ein starkes und tierleidfreies Leben. born in Iran and uh, when I was born 1979 um, that was the year when uh, the revolution in Iran happened and uh, also the Iran-Iraq war started so I pretty much grew up uh, in war um, until my seventh birthday where we moved to Germany um, and then when I was four years old I lost my dad so Probably that's not a regular uh, childhood to, to be in a war situation um, in a country like Iran um, as uh, part of the Christian minority in a Muslim uh, um, dominant uh, uh, land um, and also uh, without a father and so on. So probably my childhood was a little bit different and I think that's connected to some of the decisions I made uh, later. like. Um, the desire to want to be strong and to be able to defend yourself. This is a promise from the depths of my soul. I promise you that I will always be I stood away from a lot of things that uh, my, my classmates did, like uh, killing yourself with alcohol at the weekend and, and stuff like that just because I knew next day I want to go training and that was quite important for me so I said okay if I um, if I get drunk now next day my, um, my my training won't be that good so I just didn't do it so probably that saved me from a lot of uh, dumb things to do what I can do, I don't believe their lies I hear your cries, I feel your anger and pain When you look in your eyes And I will never rest till I day you see you Throughout free. My, uh, my whole life, I was quite compassionate towards animals um, So if I would, for example, uh, see a, um, a bird uh, that, that had some injury or anything I would try to help and sometimes we would uh, even take birds uh, to our house and uh, have them uh, for, for the winter and, and try to fix the problems they had and, and then release them again and, and stuff like that and at a certain point uh, I just started a thinking process and I thought hey why is it that I'm trying to help one animal like uh, even putting time and energy uh, in, in, into um, saving it and then on the same day um, I go for instance to a restaurant and have a chicken like you, you eat one bird and then you go and try to save another. It doesn't make any sense. Actually. The question that I asked myself was, would I kill the animal to eat it? Would I kill it myself? And the answer was no. And then I thought, so that's just basically a lie if you go and buy the products if you wouldn't kill the animal yourself. And that was the most important uh, part of it for, for me. Um, yeah, so this was the first step um, in, in that process. And then six years later, um, something happened. It was in uh, 2011. Um, I was uh, doing Strongman for, uh, since 2006. So basically, short after I became vegetarian, I also started competing at Strongman events. And in 2011, I won the national championships as a vegetarian. Um, so what I did was I published um, um, a post in my um, uh, in my blog where I just wrote, yeah, blah blah blah. I'm the uh, I'm the uh, strongest man in Germany now. I'm the greatest. This and that nonsense. 
And the last sentence was um, something quite, quite important uh, and uh, made a great change in my life. Um, the last sentence was, so, so now I have proven that uh, being vegetarian makes you a better, uh, become a better athlete. Um, what happened was that hundreds and, and, and thousands of uh, vegetarian blogs all around the world, they uh, quoted this sentence and they linked back to my blog. And I instantly became quite, uh, quite known in the, in the vegetarian world. I became uh, um, known to, to some media people. So um, what happened was I was in big media in, uh, in, in Germany, like in all big newspapers and in all uh, big TV shows and so on. So like hundreds of people were writing me messages uh, that they saw me on TV. Uh, and after seeing me and after hearing me uh, talk, talking about how it uh, was um, good for my performances, not to eat meat uh, anymore and how it helped me, uh, that they started to uh, just try to um, uh, imagine doing that themselves and then they tried it and it changed their life because it totally worked. That brought me to a problem because at that point I already knew that if you come from the ethical, uh, from the ethical side and um, you say, okay, I'm not consuming uh, meat because I don't want animals to suffer and die for me, um, it's probably not enough to just stop eating meat. Why? Because uh, if you take a look how dairy is uh, produced um, and how the animals are treated there, and if you take a look how eggs are produced, it's horrible. So if you're still eating eggs, dairy products and so on, and other animal products, you're still feeding this industry of, of pain, suffering uh, and death. But uh, now I started to think, okay, if I'm now someone who is influencing a lot of other people, um, that's not enough anymore. I really want to do it the right way. So I made the decision to, to become vegan afterwards. All the things that I was afraid of, didn't happen. I was afraid of, um, for example, that I would have cravings for, for dairy products and so on because I was so addicted to it. That didn't happen. Uh, I was af afraid of um, having problems with my performances. Uh, it didn't happen. Even my performances even got better. I got heavier and, uh, and also stronger than before. And uh, yeah, basically everything uh, worked fine. Uh, what, what I have a lot is uh, smoothies. Uh, simply because um, they helped me to get a lot of uh, calories, a lot of sugar also from the fruits um, in a compact way. Um, and what I also do is I, I add plant-based protein to, uh, to the smoothies. So what I then have is energy, I have micronutrients like vitamins and minerals and everything. Uh, I have the enzymes, so it's living food, and then I also have the protein. So I pretty much get everything that my, that my body needs. And that's something that I would, for example, have after training. I'm 100, almost 130 kilos. Um, and I'm quite short, so I'm really heavy uh, for, my, uh, for, for my size. Um, and um, with, 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 the, um, with the sport that I do, your body just has uh, much higher uh, needs for protein and, and, and other nutrients. That's the reason why I use some supplements, just uh, to make it easier for me. But that's not, like I said, has nothing to do with uh, being vegan. The only supplement that you would have to use being vegan would be B12. That's it. Promise you will make it hard for them to abuse you Slavery is something that you must never get used to I refuse to let them electrocute you Cut you up and broke you, hurt you, do all that they used to Stop the Für mich ist es einfach wichtig, jeden Tag ins Studio zu gehen, jeden Tag ins Training zu gehen, jeden Tag ins Leben zu gehen und mich selber zu schlagen. Ich möchte heute ein besserer Patrick sein, als ich gestern war. Das Wunderbarste an den Wundern ist, dass sie manchmal wirklich geschehen. Gilbert Keith Chesterton